What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, returning to Wreckfest yet again after a little bit of a delay. Apologies for that, but we are back in a big way. And we're going to probably take some big hits here today at this figure eight, or should I say figure four, quite literally what it takes its shape from. Hopefully, Ric Flair or somebody isn't lurking around one of these corners ready to lock us up. But in the meantime, we're going to try to lock up some dubs against these NASCAR legends in a brand new Michael Waltrip scheme. The legend is here. We've got an early two. 2000s version of his car and hopefully we can take it back to victory lane against these maniacs well let's see what we can do here as we're off and underway in this dale and mikey powered machine we'll see how long it takes for us to get a dub and i'm already getting packed into the roundabout that is just wonderful and what a scene as they go about six wide here and we're already gonna tip over noah Braggs and are we gonna go over ourselves no but we launched the 11 into a barrel roll, and I'm just acting as a roadblock, but we'll get out of here as fast as possible. We'll run a little bit with all guys. We got guys going four miles an hour up here. What are we doing? Christopher, I'm going to shove you up here. I'm going to have you plow our way through here if I don't get dumped by Christopher Bell first. And there goes, speaking of dumping people, I just sent Kurt Busch. Packed them all up back there, but that's fine. We'll move along here. Oh, can I just slide under here, Drew? No, I can't. No, I cannot. I botched that horribly. Come on, Chris. Sir. Cross you up right here. You're never going to see anything like this. That's a body. You go, know, Christopher. We're going to roll it up because we got him coming right at us now. Oh, what is that move, Reddick? That's right out of the Chick Hicks playbook. I don't know where he's coming from or what he's trying to do. We got cars laying in the road. Where are you going? We're taking shortcuts. Oh, Jesus. All right, Cindric. Bad timing, and we're done. That could not have gone worse. All right, we're going to have plenty of fun here today. I can feel that one from our first attempt, but it's getting through this first roundabout. It's going to be a challenge in itself. This is a turn one meme, if you ask me. So even on a figure four, the legendary memes are not lost on us. That is wonderful. Whenever I see the six soundhead car on screen, I get happy. That thing looks so good. I do not like seeing the three car lane in the middle of the road and us just running into it with some DEI on DEI violence and then intersection violence. That I'm surprised it wasn't worse. It probably got worse after we got erased. Buckle up, everybody. I'm not getting scanned into going to the inside. No, I didn't have much of a choice. I was getting dumped by the five, and I'm dumping Briscoe with, like, a leverage pack. I don't know what you would even call that. We got underneath there and shoved him. We could make an NFL team as a lineman if we did that full-time. We might be recovering from an injury full-time here. This keeps up. We had him going everywhere in front of us, and I'm still trying to get dumped by AJ Almanick. Would you get off of me, dude? Please! Yeah, the way he laid into my fender right there for world record length is Guinness watching. That might be the longest attempt at trying to wreck somebody without succeeding. We got to give it to AJ Allmendinger. Congratulations, son. <laughs> That's how you get it done. Take lessons. Take some notes and tell your friends. See if we can get around here without getting ourselves dumped. Now we have a target on our back. I can feel it brewing. We've been too much of an animal out here. Although the BM Moose car is in front of me, so I guess I'm not the worst animal out here. Somebody go ahead and hit the bottom for me for that one. I, I do it, but I got my hands on the controller, and I'm using them to body Eric out of the way. Once again, I'm the maniac. I'm getting dirtier by the second here. This car is getting filthy. And the pack is getting filthy up in front of us. I'm, I'm getting filthy. I'm dumping someone else. Ben Rose, and I'm not even doing the worst, actually. They're doing the worst up here. We're going to wreck in the intersection, not even the way we're supposed to. Tremendous. Oh, and there we go. And that's Cindric again. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get whopped all the way to the end of my life. There we go. Yeah. Oh, keep them coming, boys. We're not done here. Yeah. I was going to say earlier, I'm surprised how well these AI are handling the track. But then I think with what we're about to see, that's going to go right out the window. Because they just hit that wall. We all pack up. We just invade the other side of the track. And that's a recipe for disaster. And our race is going to end in disaster. Cindric once again shoots one of my wheels clean off of me. First, he steals my favorite driver's car. Then he steals my life. And he was not the only one. Everyone took a piece. I don't want to go down here on the bottom, guys. I'm not getting a choice in the matter. Sorry about that one, Kurt. Did we hit the bullseye on Brandon Jones' car up here? If not, there it is. We've done it. Mission accomplished. We got it. We sent the one. And I'm getting wrecked by Brad in Brad's car. What is this? That really is Brad Keselowski in Brad Keselowski's car crashing into one of Brad Keselowski's old car. This is one of those times when the Wreckfest gods just bless our eyeballs, and I'm very thankful for it. And we just hit the bullseye on Brandon Jones' car again and lined ourselves up on a T for the drive from Brad yet again. This is starting to become an unbearable meme, and it's about to get worse. 
That's an assault from all angles, and that's us back in the trash heap. Well, I guess we'll give the bad start award to Brandon Jones here because we just run him down. He has about the worst start in this roundabout you can have. We might have to peel the bullseye off of this car now that we're done with that Ty Gibbs video that aged about as good as a gallon of milk, and we're getting our own in return here. It's fun to sit here and watch these intersections for a second, too, because you'll catch things like Yelem getting destroyed, and then us in the background there running into Brandon Jones and getting beat down by Brad on the way by and gathering it up, thinking, oh, we're going to be fine, we're going to be okay. Nope. Psych. Whacked. And then literally whacked by Chastain. Got Chastain one last time for the kill shot. Oh, they're still wrecking. I just, like, really blitz the inside, maybe we can get around. Or, or this could happen. All right, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll just go f*** myself. That's cool. Yeah, all right, yeah. We'll see how this turns out for you guys. We're going to go ahead and make something of this. We're going to play a different kind of game. We'll get a different kind of dub right here called How Many AI Lives Can I Torment? They're all driving by me. All right, no, they're not all driving by me, but most of them did. But I'm still getting them. There he is. There's Brent. Oh, we got him. Target down. I call that a success. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And now we're just gonna go ahead and make a hasty retreat. All right, thank you, one car, for pushing me. You know what? We're just gonna take the honorable way out of this. Do it, you cowards! And there's the sweet release who we're looking for, and they're getting their money's worth on the way out. Really, all AI should consider themselves on notice after that one right there. That was a message that if you wreck me at the start of one of these things, I will cause a 40-car pileup like this one and say, get through that, McQueen, and you ain't McQueen, so you ain't getting through it like he did. And then for the honorable discharge, we send ourselves to the gulag here by getting a couple big hits, and of course my wheel has to go flying off. All right, Kurt. Brandon, whoever the hell you want to be right now, sorry about it, sorry about it to everybody else around here, but I am not giving anybody the chance right now. I will wreck every last one of you, and I will prosper by the looks of it. We're taking everybody out, including Tails, sorry. Sorry about it. You think I'm Baker Mayfield the way I'm out here ramming people. That went hard, and we're going to the lead. I might be the GOAT. Now it's all survival mode here. Right here is where I'm a little scared. That's what you got. Oh, and he got destroyed. Oh, what the hell? Get in your lane, you dumbass. What are you doing? I got a race to win here. You're going to be playing games with me. You're taking my life in your hands like that. I don't think so. I better not ever see that car out here again. We're going to have a problem. And we've only got one more corner to navigate to. Who wants to be the one to do it? Who wants to meme on me and dunk right over my head? Will they even get the chance? They won't. We're done before the intersection. Give me my dub. But this was just domination. This was just pure and utter domination. The outside line reigned supreme. Just acted as a battering ram. Literally went right to the top five, took out my owner, and then we just power bomb our way through the pack and steal the lead. And then we just leave them looking stupid back there. Now this will really tell the whole story. This might as well be a security camera right there. We get distracted by the 45, and sure enough, the 48's doing a kamikaze wrong way driver move. Almost cost me my dub. Well, I feel like I'd be doing us all a disservice if we didn't give this track a proper try with some physics mods turned on. So pinball mode and low gravity are are activated let's give it a go all right should we test quick that it's working we're gonna test it on the moose here we're testing this product on animals and it appears to be successful we have managed to do it and now oh, it's working all right it's working just fine as we are out of the park and doing a twist spinning on my head like a damn top and back down on the wheels we go that never gets old good i could see that a thousand times my car is probably getting pretty sick of it but it took it like a champ well as the grinch once said that's what these tests are for ladies and gentlemen we had to we had to find out some way if it was working we found out all right we sure found out it's really we got to take a moment just to kind of appreciate and soak in wreckfest in its most magnificent probably most chaotic form that it can reach with the physics mods it's just Outrageous. We don't even have a wide enough camera lens to truly soak in everything that's happening and all the cars flying. I don't need to test my luck like last time, but all right. We're not even going to make it to the first corner before wrecking. That's a turn zero meme right there. And we're just going to drive right through everybody. Everybody's wrecked and we're just walking on by. What in the world? And that's the lead. That's a casual P1 right there with a filthy track behind us, but clean and green ahead of us or not. Come on, Brad again. Come on, dude. Are you kidding? Real? What was he even doing coming from that way? Nobody should even be coming from that side yet. It's too early. It literally doesn't make sense, but it's all right. It makes this race a little bit more interesting, I guess. Now we get to catch up and get dumped. Thanks, Christopher. I guess that's payback for what happened earlier. I wouldn't expect that from you. 
I might expect that from that car over there that just tried to give me a little something. Oh God, here we go. We're gonna body Brad again, wonderful. You know what, that was a little bit deserved that time, Brad. You might've had that one coming and I almost just got cleaned out by my own car. That could have been disastrous. And now I gotta try to catch my own car too. There's some kind of spiritual meaning behind this that Wreckfest is trying to enforce on me, but I'm not listening. I'm only listening to dubs and the intersection. Oh, Christopher, what happened, buddy? What happened? All crumpled up. We might be joining you in a second here. All right, we were crawling up towards P3. Hold on, we might still have a shot at the podium. There it is. Oh, there's the lead. Everybody's destroyed. The intersection. Give it the intersection. Take it away. Oh, my God. Noah Gregson, do I even want to know what the hell just happened to you or what's happening in front of me? None of this looks good at all. <laughs> Only thing that looks good is the fact that I'm in the lead on the last lap, but it's a long way to go here. And we got a lot of track and a lot of buffoons with like three wheels to navigate. And they can't even make the corners anymore based on what I just saw. Oh, we got one flipping over on their lid and we're driving under time with Jeski. We're driving on there all kinds of cars in low earth orbit. And through the intersection, this is getting interesting. We just about ripped the wheel off right there. We got a little bit lucky with that one. But we have got all kinds of Space Force recruits in this race, and we have got to have gotten a promotion for driving under Majeski like that. And we still got him flying down the length of this super stretch here on the last lap. We only got to go through one more straight and one more corner now. Can we make it, or will we get smoked by one of these bozos up here? If we get smoked, I don't think my heart's going to be able to take it. What little mental capacity I have left will be fully corrupted, but we have done it. That is another dub. Get me out of here. Load up the truck. Well, pardon the pun, but I would certainly say this was a fantastic four if there ever was one. We're going to get out of here like that car flying away so we don't get beat up for these bad jokes. But before we hit the road, we have to at least appreciate the madness and the way we crawled back from the middle of this chaos. This royal rumble of souls at the start could not hold us down, but they got some others. We got cars beached on their sides, wheels, hoods. And Brad Keselowski's always lurking in the deep somewhere, ready to take me out and betray me. I cannot believe he got me as many times as he did today. But that is where we'll wrap it up with a watch party of the most infamous intersection that we have seen in quite some time. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more. We'll be back soon with some more Wreckfest, some more BeamNG, some more anything you want to see. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what that might be. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.